we've been talking a lot about game design in playing this game, and and uh, playing a little bit because I never played this game as a kid, never saw it in the uh, any. I've never seen anybody play it, and I'm and I've now learned that there are a few people that have played it. Um, probably for most people, it's considered just an, another unremarkable platformer from then that from that Nintendo era, but. Uh, I kind of disagree. I mean, I think it's, it's, and just in terms of like the level of, of thought put into the design, in terms of level design too, being fairly, fairly solid, you can really play a lot of, um, Nintendo era games that, that as well as, that the, the, the design is just sloppy, like the, the, the level design is sloppy, which I, I can't stand. I can't stand sloppy level design. Uh, the whole level should feel like a series of episodes um, that are uh, unique, and uh, each each episode should carry its own sort of challenge. And you shouldn't see a lot of the same episodes from from world to world, or else why 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 even bother doing like don't bother don't bother putting the same thing again and again if you're making a, a platformer. Everything should feel fresh. You know, you should get to a new section and you should feel like okay. I haven't seen this exact setup before. One of the big problems with a lot of um, games of this era, including some big classic titles. I mean, I recently played through Adventure Island, hugely popular game, and for good reason. It's got really great graphical design, really great sort of enemy design. But one thing that it is definitely lacking is um, is gameplay variation. It's like every scene is essentially the same, and it's just. A different cluster of enemies to uh, to uh, walk around past, you know. It there's nothing. There's no new challenges once you've beaten the first few levels. And in fact, when I got to the end of the first boss in Adventure Island, um, uh, the first time I did it, I thought, oh, I got to the end of the game. There's no because the game's so hard. You don't think there can you can, you can spend so much time on on just getting past that first world that first stage or whatever it is, that you can really think, be believe that you're at the end of the game. But no, there's eight stages or worlds and they really don't develop at all. There's, they don't, nothing new comes through and and th and, that, and that's a hugely classic game. That's a game that had massive appeal, um, perhaps because um, uh, the main character achieved um, uh, sort of mascot status in Japan. But you look at something like this, no mascot status. I don't think there's a, there's a famous panic restaurant, you know, a lot, a lot of panic restaurant retro love. But the scenario design, or whatever you want to call it, the level design itself is works just continuously. There's not a lot of repeated areas where I feel like, oh, I've seen this setup before. It's not a lot of just padding. And I think that's a problem with a lot of games in general. I mean, retro games, new games, whatever you want to call it. But especially, uh, there are a lot of new games that are there are 3D games that have spent a lot of money on getting the design correct, but they still have that repetitive element where you're still going through the same shit over and over again. I mean, look at um, look at uh, even just G GTA V. There's there's tons of stuff to do in it. Tons of stuff to do, but once you've sort of seen one mission of a certain type, you expect it to kind of go the same way. You know, a series of corridors, an open area, uh, a chase sequence, what have you. It's, um, it's now true. This is just platforms and ladders. That's not a new thing in and of itself. Oh, I wish I had one more health. I think another health is coming up ahead. But I think it does a lot to this game's credit that there is a fair amount that just feels fresh in each level. While the gameplay is simple, and while it'd be nice to have a few more, you know, mechanics built into the game, like instead of just jump and attack, to have a few more things built in, you never really feel like you're coming across yet another of the same thing. Except, you know, when you've died in the same section a hundred times. I mean, that is different. And that sucks as well. Well, guys, I'm hoping to get through to the end of the game and see the end boss before we have to go through this same level too many more times. At, right after talking about how this game is not so repetitive, I'm beginning to 
reach my nadir when it comes to um, seeing the same damn shit over and over again. Oh, okay. I see what I have to do. That, that sucks. That, that, that didn't suck. go. Oh, this is where I'm I'm almost certainly gonna hit a spike here in one of these attempts. You know what, there's a continue door right there. I wish I had that one extra health. This is, this is gonna kill me, isn't it? I'm gonna get a game over just by trying to get this one health. I'm gonna run out of time. Hey, fuck it. I'm going into the next room with one health. It's certainly that I'm not at the last boss yet, anyway. Okay, I am. Welcome, you lucky guy. I can't remember what voice he had. But you just, your luck just ran out. <laughs> oh, there we go. We're going up. This is so bizarre. Just, what, what is that? Um, very reminiscent. Listen to the, if you listen to the music and you look at like what you're fighting on, it is really reminiscent of. Um, <laughs> you can't can't catch. Whoa, that's a very strange translation. Now with a pan like that. Alright, I think I think you have to hit this guy pretty fast to get him. Alright, I don't think I'm gonna do it with one health anyway. You nobody fights a last boss on one health and beats him. Cut to like a million people beating this game with one health. I really gotta get my act together. There we go, game over.